Hey guys, it's Reed Plurine here, and I'm going to share with you how you can download all of the questions on Quora for a given topic. So what you want to do is you want to navigate to a topic. So I'm just going to navigate to affiliate marketing. All right. Now you could grab just what shows up in the answer tab, but sometimes that's going to give you, you know, other questions that you don't necessarily want. So I'm going to put all underscore questions at the end of the URL. I'm going to hit enter. And this is going to have every single one. Now I use an extension called any picker, but what I found is you really need to scroll down to grab this information. So I'm going to scroll down. You see these little dots here. It's grabbing the rest and we're going to keep scrolling down. Sometimes any picker can uh, grab all this for you and automatically move to the next page, but I haven't quite figured it out where it'll go every single time uh, on, on Quora. But uh, let me give you an example since I've done it a few times. So I'm going to open up any picker. I'm going to do a new recipe. I'm going to select multiple rows. And then what I want to do is I want to get that information, possibly the amount of answers, and how many people follow it would be good as well, just so I have that. Now, one thing you can do is you can change information here, like I'll put question there, how many answers, URL, and this is followers, all right? So I'll select my links. Don't think I need to do that. Just make sure I have everything here. I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit now. You can define navigation. If there is no uh, thing, you can click here and it should scroll down. Uh, it doesn't always work. So I'm just gonna set that for what the defaults are, see if it does it. And I'm gonna click build task. And what this is gonna do is it should scrape the data from Quora. So we can see here's the page. It's the title of the page. I didn't really need that information, but here's the question. Here's how many answers are currently on there. Here's the URL to get to that specific question. Here's how many people are following it. So what I believe you would have the, the best luck with this is to find the ones that are in your niche market that don't have any answers that have followers because those followers should get notified that you put an answer. And since there's no answer yet, your answer is going to be the top one for that result, which will help you be the number one choice for this question when people search for it on Quora or on uh, Google, because your answer is going to be the default uh, number one there. So let me know what you think. We're going to let this uh, go for a while and see what it grabs. We'll keep scrolling down here. See, we're still grabbing data. We're on page nine. I guess I did up to 30. So we'll just let it go. Page 10. I mean, we're already at a couple hundred questions here. And some of these may not be as related as you want. Like, for instance, what is the best niche in 2021? Not necessarily affiliate marketing related. So when you open these up in your spreadsheet, what you may want to do is uh, do some sort of filter where you just see the ones that have your particular topic mentioned in the question because that's going to help get rid of things that are kind of related but maybe you don't necessarily want to talk about and this is a good way for you to uh, you know create an authority on Quora and also find out what questions your customers are asking because these are things that are going to give you product ideas it's going to give you video ideas it's going to give you blog post ideas it's going to give you all sorts of content ideas so this is still, you know, just grabbing all this data for me. And what I'm going to do, just because it's taking a while to, to get everything here, 
for the sake of this video, I'm going to hit stop and I'm going to download my video and it was affiliate marketing demo. All right. I'm going to open that up. So this is opening it in Excel. I believe you can use, I have a premium plan for any picker, but I believe they have a, a free option and it should do this all. Um, I bought it and they had a lifetime deal that was pretty reasonable. And so I picked it up because I was like, oh, this is cool. I'll be careful of this. You don't want to like abuse this. You don't want to be scraping for all day long, that kind of thing. But it's, it's a good way to get a bunch of questions in a short amount of time and have access to those questions so you can create content. You also may want to remove any sort of duplicate uh, questions. So let me um, load up Excel here. Thought I opened the file, but maybe I didn't. So here we go. I've got uh, the file opened. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a filter. I am going to go for the ones that have no answer because that's going to be my low hanging fruit so that's 223 of 380 and then i'm going to do ones that have text that says affiliate i think it was affiliate program was the other topic so that's 39 right there okay and then what i'm going to do is i am going to remove duplicates and that is going to be column C. All right. So 36, um, you know, original questions. There may be things that are slight variation, but that was just like here. Like, how long does it take to get paid? That might be a really good blog post because you could answer all these um, you know, popular affiliate programs. Now you may have to do this research on your own. You may not be able to use AI to, to answer that, but it'd be a good way to, uh, you know, answer those questions for each one of these popular topics, like in a blog post. And you could even link to these offers and perhaps even earn commissions, or maybe they have a way where you can earn commissions on other people's, uh, affiliate efforts for that. So that might be a, a an interesting, uh, blog post idea. Obviously, how long does it take to get paid um, might be a, a good one. Now, um, you know, maybe my question, I think I was actually just in affiliate marketing. Let me, there, I did this affiliate program. Let's do it as affiliate marketing and see how many we got. Affiliate marketing, that gives us 64 um, just from this quick search. Then, I mean, we've been going from start to finish on this for what, like eight minutes? I mean, I could have let this go for a lot longer and get a ton more questions. So there's a lot of potential here. These are just questions that no one has answered yet. And there's going to be a ton. Now, I could also go and look at the followers. And I could go, oh, look, this one, the loot sending, this one has six followers. There's no questions. Uh, does blogging make more money than affiliate marketing? So if you had an opinion on that or expertise, uh, on that, you could share that information one way or the other. You know, if you thought affiliate marketing was better or blogging was better, um, how I earn money with affiliate marketing. So it's probably how do I earn money? Um, how do I learn SEO? Is there a good future of affiliate marketing or AdSense? So, you know, these are all questions people want answers to and they don't have the answers. There's no answers on Quora for this. You can do this for any topic, in any niche market, and it's a great way to get tens if not hundreds if not thousands of questions in a short amount of time and it's going to give you unlimited content ideas for your blog for responding to these posts for emails to your list for just the language people use that are your ideal customers so you can custom tailor made your promotions your offers your products to your audience to help you make more sales so if you find this information useful let me know you know like this post comment below let me know how you're going to use this